Are you terrified of needles, heights, or spiders? If these fears interfere with your daily life, you might have a specific phobia, a type of anxiety disorder that affects up to 13% of people in their lifetime. Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Brandigumpala, psychiatrist at the Ottawa Hospital and lecturer at the University of Ottawa. In this video, I'll break down what specific phobia is how it develops, and what you can do to overcome it. If you or someone you know struggles with intense fear, this video will help you understand the condition and explore treatment options. A specific phobia is an intense, irrational fear of an object or situation that disrupts daily life. Triggers can include animals, flying, or medical settings like needles. Fear is natural, but with specific phobia, it's triggered by things that aren't actually dangerous. This leads to panic and avoidance. These phobias often begin in childhood or adolescence. For example, a scary experience at the doctor can lead to a lifelong fear of medical settings. Let's take a look at what causes these intense fears to develop. Specific phobias often develop through a combination of life experiences and tendencies. For example, a traumatic event like being bitten by a dog or a painful medical procedure can leave someone with an intense, lasting fear of that specific thing. Our bodies have a natural fight or flight response to protect us from danger, but with phobias, this response gets exaggerated. You might see a spider, and even though it poses no real threat, your body reacts as if you're in serious danger, heart racing, muscles tensing. Avoiding the feared situation can actually make the phobia worse. For instance, if you had a bad experience flying and decide to avoid planes altogether, your fear will grow over time. Certain people are more prone to phobias, especially those who are naturally anxious or already have an anxiety disorder. This is especially common in children and teens. So, how do you know if your fear has developed into a phobia? Specific phobia is more than just a fear. It's a fear that seriously interferes with your daily life. There are a few signs that your fear might be a phobia. First, when you're faced with the object or situation, your fear feels uncontrollable. You might experience physical symptoms like sweating, heart palpitations, or dizziness. Second, you start going out of your way to avoid the feared situation. This might mean skipping the doctor because you're afraid of needles or avoiding social events due to a fear of crowds. Lastly, the phobia can prevent you from doing things you want or need to do. For example, a fear of flying might limit your travel plans or even impact your job. The good news is that specific phobias are treatable, with exposure therapy being the most effective method. This involves gradually and safely confronting the feared object or situation, like starting with a picture of a spider and eventually being in the same room with one, while learning to manage your anxiety. The goal is to retrain the brain to realize the fear isn't dangerous. This repeated exposure reduces the fight or flight response and builds confidence over time. Our brains are adaptable thanks to neuroplasticity, which allows them to change with new experiences. Exposure therapy uses this adaptability to create less fearful pathways, making it highly effective. While medication can be used short term, like for a fear of flying, Exposure therapy remains the most effective long-term treatment for overcoming phobias. Living with a specific phobia can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to control your life. With treatments like exposure therapy, you can face your fears and regain confidence. Remember, you're not alone. Help is available. If a phobia is affecting your life, speak to a healthcare provider or mental health professional. Taking that first step can make all the difference. Thank you for watching.